Welcome back everyone, I'm Zell, and today we're getting a look at another prototype from Todd Knife and Tool. Now like I said the first time we did this, these prototypes are alpha models, basic titanium, bare, very basic finishes. They are not knives that are ready for sale or for getting out into the public. Uh, they are proof of concepts just like this. This is the folding field chopper. And uh, this is the knife that you want if you want to have the biggest and baddest thing around. And uh, we'll back up here and I'll show you why. There is your buck marksman. The field chopper is bigger than the buck marksman by quite a bit. Your buck 110. We're bigger than the buck 110 in every metric. Uh, it is just a big knife. But what we have here is quite interesting. The design, uh, like I said, this is rough, just rough stone washing, rough contouring. But you see it all the way around there. We've got a full backspacer in there. If we go to actually making these, I think that's going to get truncated some, or we're going to add another fastener in here. And it's just big. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, mill titanium clip, that clip will get changed on any future versions. It leaves the knife sitting way out of the pocket. So unless someone really, really wanted that, we would not do that. Uh, this was just something to get a pocket clip on it. And what we have is a big old folder with a four and an eighth inch blade running on ball bearings with kind of a hidden flipper. Now we've got a fuller blade, just like we did on the Raptor. Got some big jimping cut up here. And it's actually useful jimping. It's not just put there for looks, although, you know, it does kind of look good. And uh, the neat thing about this knife is how everything lays in the knife. Now this is our flipper tab, rather small flipper tab. It lays under this kick up right here in the frame of the knife. Got a little bit of jimping across there, but that's all the flipper tab you need to send this blade flying out. Uh, it is executed extremely well. Todd Knife and Tool has done a heck of a job with the geometry on these knives, getting them uh, to where they open easily and lock up solidly. Because that's another thing. We've got no fuss about the lockup. It is solid. And the lock releases fairly easily so you can get it closed. So there we go. Now that we've got it open, we'll put some of these knives back out here for a uh, com for comparison's sake. Now you see what I mean? This guy is built to be the biggest, the baddest of any of the knives your buddies have in their pockets. Now, are we going to produce this knife? You know, we don't know. We've talked about it. Uh, it is big. It is heavy. It was kind of a proof of concept for, you know, the big heavy knife. You know, the blade on this particular one uh, we're not terribly happy with. I think if we do one in the future, we'll go with a hollow grind. And uh, there's some other things that you know, it, it's very big in the pocket. Uh, it's all those things that I fuss about all the while just being kind of badass. So, you know, I don't know. There's another thing here we would have to straighten up. We've set this one up to fit our hands pretty much exactly. So any future model that uh, went out for production or went out as customs or anything, this would be this area here would be changed because, you know, like I said, it fits our hands perfectly and uh, may not fit yours. But some of the things that have been done here, knife fits down in there, right down the wickets like it's supposed to be. And that blade is close, but not right on the edge of the knife. So very good use of available handle space to get the uh, four and an eighth inch blade in there. 
and you know this particular one is full flat ground and uh, we decided we weren't too happy with that so future models will probably be like I said hollow ground uh, the fullers will stay the jimping will probably stay uh, and it kind of depends on what you guys want you know we have talked about running the spine of the knife down some on this and the micro chopper wherever the micro chopper went might as well get them both out here and get a look you know the micro chopper we'd like to get it just a little smaller so that uh it's not quite so big in the pocket so it could be a pocket floater but you know there you go the two knives are very much the same design and the best part of these are uh this design here that leaves your flipper tab just barely protruding from the back of the knife and unlike some other designs like this you don't have exposed blade down here uh, you can like we've done here you can sharpen all the way to the ricasso without any issue where many of the knives with this design uh, you can't they'll have a you know a really a really swoopy plunge grind and then uh, the end of that plunge grind will be sticking out the bottom of the knife we'll look at one of those here in not too long we have a I have a model that's like that that we'll be looking at but anyhow this is the Todd knife and tool folding field chopper let us know what you think we have considered doing this one in a hauler grind we have considered uh, maybe making some modifications to the handle and using a similar blade but making it a sheep's foot uh, we well we've considered several things uh, those are the two prominent things we've considered so let us know what you think and uh, you know who knows maybe we'll go to making some field choppers and micro choppers you know it's it's definitely one of the more fun designs that we've come up with uh, I'm I'm not in love with the design on the big one but I really really like the small one I would really in fact I think we're gonna do this take this small one and run the blade out across here uh, which will make the blade run down a little bit here but uh, make it smaller in the pocket and uh, maybe even make it a sheep's foot instead of the worn clip and get the geometry fixed there in that pivot as you can see it's a, a very very stiff flipper you know it's not gonna you're not gonna fold it up on its own right now but we know how to fix that and you know there you go that's this one works great anyhow guys let us know what you think uh these are two of the knives that uh I don't know if you could say we're really excited about them, but uh, we're optimistic about them, I think you could say. Uh, we're well aware that we can make the big chopper and lighten it up and do some interesting things with the blade, and we can do the same with the micro chopper. But we also have the uh, Raptor series of knives we've been looking at, and we've got a couple more coming down the pike. So we really haven't hit on anything yet that we're really charging into production with we're kind of working our way through till we find something that we really 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 like however if at some point whenever we're looking at these prototypes we run into a knife that is really well received and everybody is looking for one that could be a point where we would stop and say okay okay the guys out there are wanting this so we're gonna back off on you know moving forward on the other designs and get this one built for them so let us know what you think i really appreciate you taking time to look at these todd knife and tool prototypes and you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time